Spanish bonds have been climbing recently and has everyone up in arms about the Eurozone crisis resurging, but how telling are they of tension and trouble ahead? Well, I would say certainly stress in the bond market, as you say, has, has increased significantly in the last couple of weeks. Um, and uh, of course, you can argue why it it wasn't that high before and uh, you know I think there's some evidence that actually the LTRO of the ECB has helped to uh, really reduce spreads but now this effect is petering out because basically the liquidity has been provided to the banks the banks have bought some bonds and now that's where we where we stand now uh, looking ahead the question is who's going to buy um, the bonds and you know who's going to finance governments uh, in particular in particular the spanish government at the moment and uh, to be honest i don't think that's that's very clear at the moment international investors certainly have a lot of doubt about um, the viability of spanish banks um, but also the viability of you know the whole whole strategy of rebalancing in the eurozone as a whole and you know all this adds to stress at the moment so in practical terms what's working in spain's favor I think in practical terms, the, the very positive side of the whole Spanish story in the last couple of years is really the very good performance on the export side. I think that's, that's really giving quite a bit of comfort that, you know, Spain is not Greece. Greece has had a collapse in, in exports and it's still miserable uh, in terms of export performance. In Spain, Spain has had one of the best export performances uh, in the Eurozone in the last three, four years. Actually, only Estonia had a better performance. So there's some hope that the, the country will manage to rebalance its economy and really get growth going from the export side, which is where growth should be coming from uh, for Spain at the moment. The EU Commission has said there won't be a bailout for Spain. Does that signal the ECB coming to the rescue? When the Commission says there's no rescue package in the making, it probably means there is one <laughs> in the making. So, uh, you know, I mean, that's the, the experience of the last three programs. There was always a long period of denial, and, you know, that usually it was followed by, by an actual program. So I, I think there could actually be a program. Um, now, the question is, how would you design such a program? And I think that's the more fundamental question. And, you know, my argument would be that if really uh, the Spanish government has funding problems, they mostly relate to the difficult situation in the, uh, um, in the banking system. So I don't think we should uh, address this as a fiscal, primarily fiscal problem. This is a banking problem. And you know, if you if you think about um, you know the whole construction and the whole setup of the eurozone as we have it, what you want is you want basically um, some form of banking union. So you want capital to be put into banks, and this capital should come from European resources. So so I think there is a case for an EFSF targeted EFSF program that puts EFSF money into banks via the government without having the full-blown program. So you would continue to have a Spain on the market, but, you know, get the credibility to sort out the banks with the EFSF.